Hello students, today we are going to be going over the worksheet, Why Did Zelda Name Her Pet Fawn 99 Cents? Okay, so it says under the instructions, do each exercise below and find your answer in the code key. Notice the letter above it. Print this letter in the box at the bottom of the page that contains the number of the exercise. So number one is negative 20 divided by four. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So it's kind of the same rules as for multiplication. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. Negative divided by positive is negative. So it's negative 5. So I look in my code key. Negative 5 is I. So we put an I down here under number 1. Next, I'll let you do number 2. I'm going to jump to number 3. Negative, five, negative 60 divided by negative 5. Negative divided by negative is what? Yes, positive. So then I shall work. 5 goes into 60 how many times? And we see that it goes in 12 times. And it's going to be positive because negative divided by negative is positive. So I look at the top and I see that W, clear over here, is 12. So number three is a W. Next, I'm going to go to number eight, <clears throat> two, negative 32 divided by positive two, negative divided by positive. Again, if the signs are different, it's negative. And if they're the same, it's positive. Okay, 38 divided by 2, if we go 2 into 38, and we get 19. Then we look at the top, negative 19, and it looks like that is Q, so number 8 is Q. Also, I should be putting the letters here in case I need to go back and double check, and this 12 was W. Okay, now I'm going to jump to number 10. 35 divided by negative 7. Are the signs the same or they're different? If they're different, the answer is negative. 35 divided by 7. Five. Oh, but we already used that. Is that okay? Yes, it is. So number 10 is also an I. Okay. All right, we're going to jump to 17. And we have a combination of division and addition. Here we have to do division first because it's separated by the plus sign. Tw negative 24 divided by 6. Again, it's negative divided by positive. They're different signs, so it's negative 4 plus negative 21 divided by 7. Signs are different, so then we say it's negative 3. Now we have to use our rules for addition. Now we ask, is it a battle or a party? Negative 4 plus negative 3, it's both the same sign. So both negatives, you're going to get a party. 4 plus 3 is 7, and carry the same sign. Okay, we look at the chart. Negative 7 is somewhere up here, and it's an N. So then we say 17 is an N. Okay, our last one I'm going to do for you here has multiplication, addition, and division. We must do them in the correct order. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14, plus these signs are the same, so that's positive. Negative 1 times negative 5 is 5. Okay, now we have to do addition. Signs same or different? Is it a battle or a party? It's a battle because they're opposite signs. So 14 minus 5 is 9, and who had more men? Negative did. Now we have to do division. Now, are the signs the same or different? They're different, so it has to be negative. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 
So again, we have all these elements. Multiplication, check for the signs. Multiplication, check for the signs. Now, if it's addition, you ask, is it a battle or a party? Figure out your sign that way. And then we go division here. Signs are different. It's going to be negative. So we look at the top and we say, where is negative 3? Somewhere up here. And I believe it's C. So 29 down at the end here is C. Anyway, students, that should give you a good chance to solidify your concepts of negative and positive integers with add, subtract, multiply, and divide. They don't have as many subtract, but we can change every subtraction problem into addition. No calculators. Make sure you show your work. You can do this, students. You rock.